So the pellet stove has been working great. They've had it on for about a week now and um, we haven't had no crazy cold temperatures. That's coming in a couple days, supposed to be getting down to maybe negative three. But last year, because we run the pellet stove, we have to have a way to keep the pipes hot, of course. And normally when you use your furnace down there, it's down next to the pipes, all the duct work and everything. So that's what keeps the pipes nice and warm. Well, if we're running this guy, we're not gonna have that option. It's not gonna be able to keep the pipes nice and warm. So I have an idea. I'm gonna try doing a mod today. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and we'll see if it works. We'll install it today and then this weekend when the real cold temperatures get here, that'll be the test. So I got these fans off of Amazon. I think they're about 60 bucks, two of them. And they came in a kit. It's got a little speed controller right here also. And the idea is, the plan I have is I wanna install one under each of these stairs. Suck the hot air being produced by the pellet stove underneath the stairs and into the underbelly where all the pipes are. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna have the real test this weekend, but let's tear these stairs apart. Let's mount these guys underneath the stairs and see what we can do, see if it uh, has any effect. Cause last year when I ran the wood stove, I also had a little oil electric heater that I kept in there, or I would turn the thermostat on up there in order to keep the pipes from freezing. So this is uh, much more efficient if I could just suck the hot air from in here into there. And it's gonna loop around and come back in an exhaust area over there. So let's take a look and get started. All right, I'm gonna start pulling this top stair apart first because I've torn it apart before, so it should be easy to come up because I'm, I got screws in it, but I bet you I can get it up now. Uh, there we go. Yep, let's see. My awesome crafts, craftsmanship. I put the tape on last year because it was letting cold air in. Plan is to put this guy back here. Okay, that would go like that, but on the back side, it's probably better off to put it on the back side. And I think that's not bad. It's not, it could be a little bit bigger. I could make the hole that much bigger. Maybe I should. We're gonna get some better airflow. Err, means I get the sawzall out. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's do it. Hey, making sure there's no wires or nothing back there. My plan was to go from the back to put the second fan in down here, but that's not going to work. Let me show you. As you can see, it's just got that one small hole, which that was last year's idea that never panned out. So pay no attention, but it's got that one small hole that's all boxed off here so I'm gonna have to take that bottom stair out too I didn't want to do that but let's just get it out all right so the bottom stair is not coming out it doesn't want to come out yet I gotta either figure out how it's attached before I just bang it out or come up with a plan B which would be mounting the fan on the outside which is it would work just fine but I want to be consistent here I'm just gonna do this on the outside because my back can't take anymore. All right, that's some Bob Vila shit there, I'll tell you what. Oh, it looks like shit. Because that would be my look. What? Nothing. Yep, it's just like a hair too short. So that sucks. But I'm used to shit not working out, so I do have a plan B. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through the top. Is that how you would have done it? Okay. Why don't you come finish it for me then? It'd come with these little sticky things. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there just so we don't get no annoying vibrating sounds. Let's get those guys in there.
Yeah, it's just my luck. I go, I install it, and then I turn this on, and only one's firing. Why? So you take it all apart, and now it'll work. All right, well, let's put it all back together. Jeez. We're just gonna put it on the outside. That way it's consistent with the other side. And because it'll push it down too far to fit underneath there. So this is the way my shit goes. It's always a pain in the ass. Always, it never goes nice and smooth. But most of the time it ends up working. It's just a pain in the ass to get to that point. Okay, let's make sure they're gonna spin. Unlike the last set that we're a pain in the ass too. Okay, top spinning nicely. The bottom's spinning nicely. Major airflow. Alright. I'm gonna clean this mess up. And then we just gotta find a spot to plug it in. And I'm gonna try to do this speed controller somewhere nicely. Let me think. I'm just gonna show you when I'm done. I right, got it installed. There's the bottom one. There's the top one. Here's where my controller's just gonna be right here. Turn it on. Top going. And oh. got really good airflow actually. You can really feel it. Let me see if I can you can see that. Great airflow. That's just one of them. So I ended up running an extension cord from somewhere else in the under area inside here with all the pipes and plugged her in. Got the wires routed through the little vent holes and we'll give her a test. We'll see how it works in this next little, our first little Arctic storm of the year. And I'll report back and let you know if this is worth the hassle. It wasn't that big a hassle. It wouldn't have been that big a hassle. A real simple thing to do. All stupid, little, all sorts of little stupid curveballs were thrown at me. Anyways. I'll report back. Okay, so I promised you all an update on how those fans were going to work under the stair fans that I put in there. It's uh, snowing. Well, it just got done snowing, but it's about 16 degrees out. I'll put the little temp up here in the corner, but here is, let me show you the numbers. So wood stove been running at one all day. It's about 16 degrees out. It's kept it inside temperature. You can see right there is 70 degrees, 70.9. There's the other temperature gauge confirming at 70.9. The pipes down underneath where the pipes are. Oh, watch out, Lena. 57.6 degrees. And that's with it being 16 degrees outside. Lena, you're in the way here. Get your fuzzy butt out. Got a little fancy. You can see there I'm on about, what would you consider that, 30%? They've been pretty quiet. Can't hear them. Yeah, both top and bottom. I'm sure you wonder when I have the fans on, where's the air blown back into the RV at? And that's right here. There's already a vent put in underneath this cabinet. So I'll show you here. You can see flowing that much air back in. It's a big long vent here. It goes all the way across. You can see how much air is coming in. So it just keeps in constant circulation. It sucks in underneath the stairs. It goes back in that storage area that has all the plumbing. And then it gets pushed back out through those vents back into the main RV. And that's with it being 16 degrees out. We got it 57 in the pipe area. And the only thing heating it is those fans pumping air from in here into there. So that's great. Last year I had to use that little 1500 watt heater on a thermostat to kick on and off and crap and turn this propane on every once in a while if uh, before I did that. So uh, fan idea, definitely a good idea. I mean, I don't know how many you're running a pellet stove in your RV, probably not many, but if you are, or if you're thinking about it, that's what you want to do down there. I definitely recommend those fans. I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you want them for, uh, if you got a pellet stove doing what I'm doing, or if you got another reason to do it. So, all right, I appreciate you watching and, uh, Please subscribe or don't, whatever, doesn't matter.